Hello, this is Geraldine Wilkins, the Living Water Quilter and Bernina Ambassador. I'm excited and I'm ready. Are you ready for a ruler quilting challenge, the essential ruler quilting challenge? We're going to use Bernina's essential ruler kit to help us improve our ruler quilting skills as well as learn how to design with rulers. We have four rulers in the ruler kit to help us do that. And we're going to go through them one by one. The first ruler is the straight edge ruler. This ruler will help us hone our skills with using a ruler while we are quilting on a home machine or a long arm. The next ruler we will look at is a curve ruler. Curve rulers are fun. And this one in the kit has three curves that we will use to create fun designs. The next ruler is one of my favorites. It's a circle ruler. I just love quilting circles. The circle ruler we will use has multiple sizes, but we will concentrate on two inch size and we will make some fantastic designs with this circle ruler. The last ruler in the kit that we will look at is this squiggle ruler. The squiggle ruler has two sides where we can make patterns, but we will concentrate on this side of the ruler. Would you like a sneak peek? Let me show you some of the designs that we are going to learn and stitch in this essential ruler quilting challenge. Let's take a look. So with the straight edge ruler, we'll make a star and an arrowhead and then put these two together to make a fantastic edge-to-edge -edge design. We'll also look at echo quilting with the straight edge. We will use this design to create another beautiful thread texture over the surface of the fabric. When we move to the curve ruler, we will have designs like this one that create diamonds, and we will make designs like this one where we have what I call our seeds. I love these kind of curvy designs that can be used on almost any quilt project. Now remember, the circle is my favorite. So we are going to also add some free motion quilting. Now, if you're new to free motion quilting, don't worry. You can concentrate on the ruler quilting, or if you're a confident beginner and you wanna add the free motion, I'm going to show you how to do that too. You can put in whatever free motion quilting designs once you learn the continuous quilting technique I can't wait to share with you. Also with the circle ruler, we're going to stitch this beautiful continuous design that makes this beautiful leaf pattern. I can't wait to show you that one as well. Are you getting excited about this challenge? Then when we move to the squiggle ruler, we will stitch some ribbons and designs like this one. Don't forget, go down below and download the supply list. You will need a ruler foot, a machine capable of free motion quilting. You will need some fabric sandwiches and I have that all in the supply list. I can't wait to get started. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Get ready for the next ruler quilting challenge.